Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Vet in Europe. If you are new to my channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we are continuing with our series on how to become a licensed veterinarian abroad. This is episode 2 and today I will be talking about how to get your license to practice as a veterinarian in the USA. Whether you are in your final year of studies, a recent graduate or an experienced veterinarian from another country, I will tell you the entire process covering all the information such as the eligibility requirements, the exam process, the associated costs and timeline. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. In order to practice as a veterinarian in the USA, you have to pass the NEVILI, that is the North American Licensing Examination. NEVILI is a computer-based objective type of examination which consists about 360 multiple choice questions which focuses on diagnosis, treatment and management of different veterinary cases for a variety of species. This exam is conducted by ICVA which is the International Council for Veterinary Assessment. Now let me tell you who is eligible to take the NEVILI exam. If you are a veterinary graduate from USA or Canada, you can directly apply for the NEVILI exam. However, if your degree is from another country, for example India, you cannot sit for the exam directly. You have to meet additional requirements before applying to the exam. So for all the veterinarians who have a degree from another country, they must first enroll in one of the two licensing programs. These are ECFVG, which stands for Educational Commission for Foreign Veterinary Graduate, or PAVE, that stands for Program for the Assessment of Veterinary Education Equivalents. So both these programs ensure that your veterinary degree meets the standard of veterinary education in the USA. Once you are certified by either of this program, only then you are eligible to take the NEVILI exam. Now I will explain each of these programs in details and the key difference between them. The ECFVG program is managed by the American Veterinary Medical Association. This certification program is accepted by all state veterinary regulatory bodies in USA. The ECFVG certification program consists of four steps which has to be completed in order. First of all, all prospective candidates must be a veterinary graduate or a final year student at an AVMA ECFVG listed veterinary school. You will be allowed to apply for the enrollment in the ECFVG certification program only if your university or your college is an AVMA ECFVG listed college. You can check the list of recognized colleges from your country in the directory. I will share the link in the description. If your college is not already included in the list, don't worry. You can add your college to this directory. It requires some time and some specific documents, so I suggest you plan well in advance. I will share the link of the website where you can find the information and process on how to register your college to this directory. To enroll into the program, first you need to complete the online application and pay the fees of $1,400. Here are the documentations that you require for step 1. A completed ECFPG application form which has to be notarized. Notarization is done by Notary Cam worldwide online. I will share its link in the description. One recent photograph, your degree certificate, a copy of your final transcripts. And if you want to apply before your graduation, then you need to submit a copy of transcript for those years of study completed, a letter in English from an official of the veterinary college stating that the applicant will graduate within that year. And after the candidate's graduation, a copy of the diploma and final transcript must be submitted to the ACFVG. These documentations are required to be received by ECFVG within 10 days of your submission of the online application. To complete step 2, that is assessing your English language ability, you have to submit a proof of English language proficiency certificate meeting the minimum requirements. This can be done by one of the following assessment tools, TOEFL Internet Based Test, the IELTS or the CAEL assessment, that is the Canadian Academic English Language. All candidates who enroll into the ECFVG program must attain a passing score in the Basics and Clinical Science examination to complete the step 3 of the certification program. Candidates will be notified by email or through their ECFVG online about their eligibility to take the step 3 examination. 
then you can apply for this basic and clinical science examination and pay the application fee which is around $220. Once the office confirms your eligibility to take the test, you will be provided with the authorization to test letter. So what is this basic and clinical science examination? So this is a computer based examination lasting for approximately four hours and consisting of 225 questions. These questions are designed to assess your basic and clinical veterinary science knowledge. The BCSC examination is offered at ProMetric testing centers at different locations at your country throughout the year. Once you receive the authorization to test letter, you can choose the exam dates. The clinical proficiency exam is a practical based exam where candidates must attain a passing score on all the sections of this exam. This exam is intended to assess the practical skills of an entry level veterinarian. The CPE is a three day, seven sections hands on clinical examination, which is offered by authorized testing institutions. The seven sections of the CPE exam includes anesthesia, equine practice, food animal practice, necropsy, radiographic positioning, small animal medicine, and surgery, specifically canine ovarian hysterectomy. Once you have a passing score in the basics and clinical science computer examination, then you are eligible to take the CPE exam. You have to submit the application online through the ECFVG online portal and pay the application fee. The fee for CPE exam is $1,725. After that, your application will be processed and a test date and venue will be assigned to you. You will receive a confirmation letter which will contain all the information required. Remember, you cannot take your CPE exam on the same AVMA recognized university or college where you completed your graduation or you're doing your internship or an employee of that institution. You can also request the ECVFG to establish an examination site by filling up a proposal. In addition, candidates who enroll for the ECFVG certification program has to submit a validated surgical experience documentation. This documentation should include a proof of having performed in the five-year period prior to candidate's CPE, at least one ovarian hysterectomy as the primary surgeon, and at least five additional surgical procedures as either the primary or the assistant surgeon. Validation of surgery experience can be provided by one or more veterinarians licensed to practice veterinary medicine in an international jurisdiction. So this is all about the ECFVG certification program. As I mentioned to you earlier, there are two programs that you can get enrolled. First one was this ECFVG and the other one is PAVE. Now I'm going to discuss about PAVE. PAVE, which stands for Program for the Assessment of Veterinary Education Equivalents. This is overseen by the American Association of Veterinary State Boards. PAVE is the other certification program which is for graduates from international non-accredited veterinary colleges to practice in USA and Canada. So in order to get the PAVE certification, there are five steps which you need to complete which are more or less similar to the ECFVG. These are Step 1. Complete your PAVE application. Send your application with the required documentation along with the English language certificate. Step 2. Take the Qualifying Science Examination. This exam covers basic science and the preclinical subjects taught in the first three years of the curriculum of veterinary school. The QSE consists of 200 multiple choice questions and 25 pilot questions derived from test specification. The QSE is offered three times per year in January, May and September. Step 3. Complete Evaluated Clinical Experience. You have to complete one year of clinical rotation in an AVMA aggregated veterinary college or university, same as the clinical rotation as regularly enrolled student. You can find the list of the veterinary college or university where you can undergo this one year of clinical rotation in their website. I will share the link in the description. Step 4. Obtain your PAVE certificate. Once you complete all the previous steps, you can get the PAVE certification. Step 5. Take the Neville exam and obtain your license. The ECFVG and PAVE are the two primary pathways for graduates from foreign universities who wish to sit for the Neville exam and obtain the license to work as a veterinarian in the USA. 
While both this program aims to assess and certify the educational equivalence of your veterinary degree to the American veterinary education, but they differ in some key aspects. These are practical exam structure. In the ECFBG, you have CPE, that is Clinical Proficiency Examination, which is a hands-on clinical exam. Whereas in PAVE, you have to do a one year of clinical rotation at an AVMA aggregated school. Recognition. ECFVG is accepted in all US state. PAVE is accepted in 40 states. Timeline. ECFVG is shorter based on your exam preparation. PAVE is longer because it includes one year of clinical rotation. Cost. In ECFVG, you have to pay the application fee plus the exam fees. In PAVE, you have to pay the application fee plus exam fee plus tuition fee for one clinical year rotation. Work opportunity. After completing the ECFVG, you have no post-program work authorization. But if you get the PAVE certification, then OPT is possible after clinical year. OPT stands for Optional Practical Training which is a temporary work authorization program in the United States for international students on an F1 visa. Both these pathways can help you achieve your dream of working as a veterinarian in the United States. It's all about choosing what best aligns with your goal. Okay, once you have completed either ECFVG or PAVE, the next step is to apply for NAVILI, that is the North American Veterinary Licensing Exam. This is the key exam which every veterinarian has to pass in order to practice in the USA. So once you pass the Neville exam, you have to apply for a license in the state where you intend to work. Each state has its own veterinary medical board, so you have to apply accordingly. To work in the USA, you have to secure a visa, typically the H-1B work visa. This requires a sponsorship from a US-based employer. So it's a good idea to start networking early and apply to those companies and organizations that regularly hire international veterinarians. And that's a wrap on today's episode on how to get your veterinary license in the USA. I hope this breakdown made this process easier for you to understand. If you have any further questions or need some clarifications, please drop your questions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. In the next episode, I will be covering the veterinary licensing process in Canada, so stay tuned. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you on my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.